going on guys rewinds here so today i'm bringing you guys boruto manga chapter 58 spoilers in full so recently i just covered i think like eight to ten hours ago what the chapter would be composed of but now the full spoilers have came out thanks to organic dinosaur so how this is going to work is there's going to be three different types of scenes in the whole chapter and organic dinosaur broke them down by the pages so shout out to organic dinosaur for that but let's jump into them. I haven't read it myself yet either. So let's get started. Ooh, this is a lot. Um, so we got the cover page. It's a double spread um, with code Amado Ada, Kawaki Shikamaru, Naruto, Sasuke, Boruto, Shikadai, Chocho, Mitsuki, Inojin, Sarada, and Sumire. And let's see. On to the actual first scene. It starts on page three and lasts till page eight. It's about the pills from the last chapter. <clears throat> so it says, Boruto Otsutsuki's transformation is progressing. A method to avoid the worst possible outcome has emerged. The chapter opens at the Uzumaki household. Naruto and Boruto are sitting across from one another at the kitchen table. The bottle of boba pills is in between them, sitting on a dish. Boruto says, drugs, they'll suppress the Otsutsuki transformation. Naruto says, yeah, that's right. Originally, it seems like it was something that was intended to be used for a different purpose. But we don't know if we can expect that sort of efficacy or if things will go smoothly. <clears throat> Boruto says, are you serious? If I take these, I won't turn into Momoshiki. Naruto says, I said that's, that it's just going to suppress your progression. It doesn't mean that the karma itself will disappear. Your body has already been <clears throat> subjected to the Otsutsuki transformation to a certain extent. It's not as if it'll revert you back to normal. Boruto uncorks the bottle of boba pills. He pours five of them onto the plate and closely inspects them. Boruto says, It doesn't smell like anything. Naruto says, Is this alright with you? That's the most pressing issue, to be honest. We won't know what the side effects will be. In the worst case scenario, you, will, you could die. That's why I won't force you to go through with this. I'm saying this as merely as one of your options. You have to think this through for yourself about what you want to do and then make the decision. Boruto's quiet. <clears throat> Boruto picks one up picks up one of the boba pills between his thumb and index finger. He stares at it and pops it straight into his mouth. Naruto is completely dumbfounded. Boruto starts to roll the boba pill around in his mouth while talking intermittently. <clears throat> um Boruto says, hmm, it doesn't taste like anything in particular either. It's fine even without water. How many pills do I need to take a day? Meanwhile, Naruto is completely in panic. He jumps up from his seat and slams both of his hands on the table. In addition, some of the pills have been jostled into the air. Um, Naruto says, what? Bor Naruto says, were you even listening to anything I just said? Boruto seems a bit sweaty and nervous. Boruto says, no, I clearly heard what you said, Dad. You, Dad, weren't you the one who said that I'd be the one who would make the decision anyway don't yell at me like that all of a sudden naruto is still in a panic continuing to speak in a loud voice naruto says did you really think it through how could you make such a hasty decision boruto is yelling back spit flying boruto says i just happened to make this de decision right away i don't know whatever side effects it might have i wouldn't know unless i tried one anyway right naruto says you i mean how do you feel do you feel worse off for anything Boruto says, well, I feel fine for right now. I mean, in general, it might take some time before I settle on my resolve, but I've already prepared myself for the worst since a long time ago, especially when it comes to karma. I had already, I had already made up my mind about my resolve. That's why I was so quick to make a decision about it. I'm the type of person who'd be prepared and determined about that resolve. That's all there was to my decision making. Sorry for making you worry about me, though. Naruto says, Boruto. Naruto still looks concerned. Boruto says, thank you, dad. I'm glad that you gave these to me so that I could be better. Boruto is holding the cork bottle, smiling. Naruto says, good grief. This guy is. So that's the end of the first scene. I'm going to be moving on now to the second scene. So on second. to the second scene. This will be pages 9 through 25. And this will be featuring a lot of... Um, this will be the start of the fights that are happening in this chapter. A lot of this chapter is going to be training. So... From spoilers I saw earlier, I'm assuming this is, yep, I was right, Sarada and Mitsuki versus Kawaki. So, let's get started into this. So the scene shifts to Kawaki, Mitsuki, Boruto, and Sarada casually sitting on the ground outside. Kawaki asks Boruto why he's taking the drugs. Boruto replies that he knows that there are definitely some risks, but he made his decision while fully understanding them. 
Mitsuki is speechless and Kawaki seems angry. Kawaki asks Boruto about whatever happened to their plan to etch Code's body with karma. What's the point in taking this drug now before they battle? If Boruto dies, then everything will have been lost in vain. Boruto shouts back that Kawaki's plan was still just a hypothetical. Isn't that what Kawaki alleged anyway? There was no guarantee that it would work out. Especially since they don't know how strong Code will be either. In typical combat scenario, they wouldn't be likely to win at any rate. Sarada interjects saying that Boruto and Kawaki have been noisy and complaining for a while now. Shouldn't they just shut up and be here to train? <clears throat> Konohamaru and Naruto are observing from somewhere above them. Konohamaru thinks <clears throat> Kawaki is being problematic because he doesn't come off as being very cooperative at all. Kawaki says he'll just put it bluntly. It's not like they'd be trustworthy opponents anyway. They're no match for code. Boruto retorts that's why they're training to get stronger. Sarada yells at the two of them to stop messing around already. They're getting in the way of their own training. Kawaki is fuming. He calls Sarada an asshole and then tells her to shut up um, and just sit there quiet, quietly instead of butting in. Sarada anger, angrily replies that they're trying to do important training for chak chak chakra control. It's the most basic of the basics, but Kawaki is acting haughty in spe despite being a newcomer at it. <clears throat> Kawaki says having the basics is good enough for you guys, but if we keep going at it like this, how many years would it take us take for us to defeat Code? Five years? Ten years? Don't make me laugh. Boruto yells back that Kawaki shouldn't be such an idiot <clears throat> about getting proper training. After all, Kawaki is one of is the one who got who first got trained up in ninjutsu. <clears throat> Kawaki retorts that's not the point. It's about how much leeway they've got time wise. Mitsuki pipes up and says that he understands what Kawaki is trying to say. Mitsuki then asks Kawaki about what he wants to do in set. Kawaki says that it's simple. They'll even like his suggestion too. Kawaki suddenly engorges his right arm and attacks Mitsuki. Mitsuki wraps his elongate, elongated arm around Kawaki's arm as a counter. Boruto and Sarada sit up and then step back. Kawaki thinks that Mitsuki's tactic wasn't that bad and and that he even made he, that he even met Kawaki's expectations. Mitsuki says that Kawaki's intentions were predictable. Kawaki just wanted to do some actual combat training. Mitsuki doesn't mind engaging in it and says that he's fine with doing this type of training too. Konohamaru is about to jump in and defuse the situation from the observation deck. However, Naruto puts his arm in front of Konohamaru's chest to block him from intervening. Sarada tries to tell them again that they shouldn't be doing things on their own on such a whim. Sarada says, did you forget that I'm the leader of this team? Kawaki ignores Sarada. Kawaki continues on to say that he trained well under Jigen ever since he was a brat himself. Kawaki explains that almost all of the training that Jigen had imposed upon him was actual combat training that involved bleeding out. That entire time was a living hell for him. Kawaki reiterates that he would have been better off dead. However, that wasn't possible for him. Kawaki said, I told myself that I was tired of seeing that damn bastard's face. I wanted the power to kill that guy with my own hands. Bearing that in mind wholeheartedly, he got suddenly got stronger. Kawaki goes on to mention that the methods themselves were actually quite reasonable, though. They made a lot of sense. Kawaki then detaches the morph part of his arm to Mitsuki's surprise. Kawaki then re-engorges his right arm to attack Mitsuki again. Mitsuki dodges Kawaki's swipes. Sarada then yells at Kawaki, saying that he's an idiot because he, his justification for sparring like this seems extreme. <clears throat> Kawaki tells her to stop whining already. Did she think that the real enemy wait, would wait for her to, to keep on talking like that? Kawaki then aims his next few swipes at Sarada. She leaps into the air to dodge the attack. Sarada then unleashes a huge fireball at him. Um, <clears throat> Kawaki then grows his arm into a wider shield to block it. As Kawaki emerges running from the smoke, she throws multiple shuriken at him. They seem to have struck all over his body. Boruto seems a bit frightened by it. It didn't seem like... The kind of attack Sarada would use to just mess around. Okay, so she's getting serious. <clears throat> As Kawaki's body f tumbles further away, it disappears. Kawaki then reemerges right behind Sarada to strike again with his right arm shaped into a shear. Mitsuki points out that it was Kawaki's Kagebunshi no Jutsu. <clears throat> Boruto arrives just in time between the two of them and then blocks Kawaki's blade arm back with the kunai. Boruto says, cut it out, you asshole. What are you trying to do? Kawaki says that it's just sparring, it's not like someone will die from it. Boruto keeps trying to ask Kawaki why he's so impatient with training and why he's taking things this far. Kawaki says, oh, who's the impatient one? Sarada says there's little use talking to him like this, they'll have to silence him with brute force. Boruto says, sorry Sarada, but please don't interfere. I, I'll... Uh, this is a little missed translation, but I think he meant to say I'm going to handle this one-on-one. -on -one. Sarada wonders 
what has gone into Boruto 2, what is he intending to do about Kawaki? Mitsuki says, so the loser has to do the winner's bidding. Is that what you're proposing, Boruto? I think Mitsuki just knows Boruto pretty well. <clears throat> Boruto confirms that's the case. If Boruto loses, they'll continue training with the method Kawaki wants. Surely Kawaki wouldn't complain about this arrangement. Kawaki agrees to this interesting development. Konohamaru and Naruto are still watching everything unfold from above, seemingly a bit more worried than before now. So that is scene two. A lot of content seems like this possibly could be the beginning of Kawaki turning more towards the evil side, I guess. Just maybe this will be the start of that type of buildup, possibly. Um, I think this is a good point for them to do that because we're seeing a lot of disagreements. But yeah, anyway, so scene three, it'll be pages 26 until the end of the chapter. This is going to be Boruto versus Kawaki. Let's jump into it. So this doesn't seem like as long um, of spoilers as like the last batch, but for scene two. So let's see what's going on here. So scene three, Kawaki versus Boruto. Boruto cracks his knuckles. A promise is a promise. He reminds, he reminds Kawaki that they can't keep arguing for the sake of arguing if he loses. Kawaki just retorts that Boruto stole his punchline and that he won't forget about what Boruto said. Sarada glares at the two of them who are now walking straight towards each other. They're seriously both being complete idiots. Mitsuki is speechless and just observing. Boruto and Kawaki keep egging each other on and bicker for a bit until they are just a step away from each other's faces. They start off mutually punching one another in the face. Kawaki extends his arm, but Boruto jumps out of the way. Boruto then creates two Kagebunshin to engage in taijutsu with Kawaki. Boruto then attempts a Rasengan, classic. Kawaki fires some spy spires from his arm at Boruto in response, but it's just a Kage Bunshin. After maybe after making some space between them, Kawaki then fires a blast from his palm at Boruto. Boruto activates Karma to absorb a giant ball of energy. To Kawaki's dismay, Boruto attempts to counter with Raisin Jin Raisin. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. But um, Kawaki extends his palm out to absorb it but then suddenly realizes that he can't absorb attacks anymore. He takes the full brunt of the blast and tumbles way backwards. He then stares at the palm of his hand, which no longer has karma edge to it. Yep, this this could definitely be the start of the buildup towards Kawaki turning, but let's see. Subconsciously, Kawaki says, subconsciously, I was trying to absorb it all. Have I been depending on karma even more than so I thought? Sara, uh, Aboruto says, this time I won. No complaints from you, right? Sarada comments that it seems that their match is over and that she hopes that they'll restrain themselves a bit from a bit more from now on instead of acting so rashly. Kawaki says, damn it. In a place like this too, what am I groveling here for? Kawaki is still on his hands and knees trying to get up off the ground. He glances up and sees Konohamaru and Naruto staring down at him. Kawaki says, how pathetic for me to be in such a pitiful state. I won't be able to protect... Uh, I'm assuming he's referring to Naruto here. Uh, Boruto steps into Kawaki's view. Um, Boruto says, there's at least one thing that's different from when I first met you. Now I can somehow understand you about the way you think. You're burdened alone with some things. You should rely on us more, all right? We're your friends, you know. Mitsuki, Sarada, and Kawaki are speechless. Boruto says, since Konoha and Dad are getting targeted by Kara, you probably feel responsible for it. But that's not your fault at all. Either way, we can't leave those bad guys alone. That's because we're shinobi. Because you're one too, right? Naruto and Kon Konohamaru also make a few comments about the situation. Kawaki has shifted his pose on the ground now to be leaning on one side. He's propped up his head with his right arm. Kawaki sighs. Hmm, jeez. Kawaki thinks that Boruto said a pretty cheeky line. Sarada also comments about Kawaki's demeanor. Despite him being the loser of the match, Mitsuki notes that it seems like Kawaki has a pretty big attitude going on. Kawaki brushes him off, though. He says that he'll be sticking around for a while longer with them regardless. That's their way of doing things, right? Boruto replies that it's the opposite case. They're the ones keeping him company instead. Naruto says, keep doing your best and hard and work hard, you guys. You'll get stronger and stronger. Boruto says, alrighty then, we're going to resume training. Let's start. Kawaki stares at his empty left palm again and then clenches it. Kawaki says, I gotta get stronger, no matter what it takes. End of chapter 58. So... I don't know about you guys, but I 100% think this power gap is what's going to cause Kawaki to go crazy. We don't necessarily know if he's going to turn evil evil, but that's like the assumption. Um, 
he it's going to be the power thing and i could definitely see that happening because he sounds like he wants to protect naruto and he's getting really frustrated that he doesn't have the power to do it so maybe he's gonna get karma or he's gonna try to get karma back just for that sake somehow um it'll be very interesting to see how stuff develops here i'm pretty sure we are gonna see him try seeking powers try seeking more power in an alternate way instead of training that is my guess i wonder what's gonna happen i'm really excited to see the direction it heads into something I'm, i've also been wondering now is if we're gonna be getting this time skip sc soon like we've been teased or if we're gonna get a l another like mini arc or something because um we got a training chapter this month and i mean i guess it's been important to show i guess development in some of the characters but i feel like something big's got to happen before we just time skip like i don't think we would be doing a training chapter and then just time skip because i'm assuming during the time skip they're probably going to do a bunch of training anyway um so it'll be interesting to see what happens but yeah that's going to be it for spoilers guys that's all of boruto manga chapter 58 if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel if you're new i'll be covering more boruto spoilers as they come out every month for the anime and the manga i also cons i also cover um dragon ball super spoilers if you're into that but yeah that's gonna be it for the video hope you guys have a good day or night i'm rewind